Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Thanks for tuning in today. I am doing an exciting video. Today, I'm going to administer dermaplaning to myself as well as a nano needling treatment right after. After this is two very gentle treatments combined, and it is safe for my skin type. Now, if you have very reactive skin, this probably will not be good for you. This can be an exfoliating treatment for very sensitive skin types, so make sure you go to a professional, such as an esthetician or a medical spa, to make sure that they evaluate your skin properly. Now, for my skin type, I have combination skin. Right now, it is very dry because I have placed moisturizer on, and I have been out in the sun every day working out. And I also have enlarged pores from old acne scars and some hyperpigmentation. This will be the first step to your clean and prep. Now, for skin prep, I am using the Green Tea Citrus Cleanser from Skin Scrub. I have been using this for many years. I love this product for me, especially in the summertime. In the wintertime, I love to use a cream cleanser, but right now it is hot and we're using the gel cleanser since I tend to get oily. This one is a good all around cleanser for pretty much normal to combination skin types. So another part of your clean and prep is going to be the My Dermatician spray. You can use other sprays. You don't have to use this one. This is the one I currently use in my office. This, this is a wonderful um, hydrochloric spray, which helps to kill the bacteria on the top part of your skin, especially when you're doing such treatments like these. If you don't have this, you can get any kind of antiseptic or you can just use a little bit of alcohol, 70%. It'll dry your skin out temporarily, but I promise it's not going to do that much harm. Lastly, the product that I'm going to be using during my nano needling treatment portion of the video, I'm going to be using the Vitamin C Serum by Skin Script. I never see people use this one. I do like to use it often and I keep it refrigerated. Wow, For the sake of this video, I know there's a lot of people, oh, dermaplaning, let me use a straight blade to my face. Well, it is actually very hard to dermaplane yourself with a straight blade. For all intents and purposes, we can use a disposable take-home razor. I don't like these because the, where people go wrong is they reuse it and you're not supposed to. And that's just for, again, bacteria, cleanliness, making sure the skin is not going to get any type of infection. People just don't, don't reuse this. It is much safer to use versus my straight blade because I always nick myself. But I can do it on other people, but I can't do it to myself, apparently. I will demonstrate a portion of my face with the straight blade and then maybe half and then the other half I'll do this one. Now you all have seen this next tool. I have used this in other videos. I still have it. It still works great and I do use it occasionally. I'm going to use the nano tip and it is disposable. You don't want to reuse this either. A lot of people ask me questions if they can. Absolutely not. Do not reuse tips like this. You want to just throw it out. Same thing with your dermaplaning blade. Now make sure you wash your face. I already did a double cleanse with my cleanser. I went ahead and washed my hands but I do have rubbing alcohol nearby and I do like to wipe my my doctor pen I like to wipe it with alcohol before I start my procedure make sure everything is you know common sense make sure everything is nice and clean your surfaces are clean your hands are clean um, when you're working at home now now I just want to make sure I have this ready to go and it's just simple you just pop it right on and twist and it is on so it's not going anywhere the depth I'm going to use is 0.25 you really don't need to go any deeper than that when you're doing nano just not necessary so we'll put that aside for now. So you've done your cleanse. We're going to go ahead and finish the prep portion. And I'm going to go ahead and take my hydrochloric. And I'm just going to spray all over my skin so that I make sure that everything is nice and clean. That antibacterial properties. Now let's take a look at my skin what I'm trying to address. I have some fine lines here. I also have enlarged pores, which I've done lots of nano needling and it has helped. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I've done a lot of micro needling and it has helped quite a bit. but I can only do so much of the skin. So, and I do have enlarged pores here. These deep wrinkles are for me sleeping on my face. Don't do it if you can help it. Um, but my hyperpigmentation is not too bad. This is a birthmark, so I'm not worried about that. But I just want to make this skin, it's very, it needs to be exfoliated. It's very dull. And I'm just so ready to do a little bit of self care because I really need it. I've been busy. I have my hair nice and tied up and I'm going to go ahead and start dermaplaning the skin. It is nice and dry now, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to try to do this with the camera. So I'm just going to start in the forehead, go down, and just be careful with your brows. And you can see the fluff starting to come off. 
and you don't need to do too many passes or anything like that. And I, I am filling this on my phone because it does show all the imperfections very nicely on your skin. No filter needed. Ooh, my forehead was pretty dry today. Okay, so I'm going to continue. Oops. And I'm just gonna get the side of my face, which I did have quite a bit of hair. You can see I'm actually holding it at an angle. So I'm holding this at an angle. I'm not doing straight up and down. I'm holding an angle. So angles are good. I've seen people still nick themselves even with this. This has a guard on it, which is safe for the public. I don't feel like it gets you that close of a, I guess, a shave. I don't like to say shave, but. So I can, I'm going in a couple different directions as well. And I'm poking my skin. I'm pulling my skin to make sure that I'm getting all the little hairs. And I'm being very gentle. I'm not using too much pressure. Looks good. Okay. Ooh, look at all that. And I have a lot of dead skin you can see on my chin. It's super common actually. A lot of people do. And it's because it's a very, very neglected area. Now, I'm not worried about the hair growing back thicker. As you all know by now, derm cleaning is only attacking the villa's hair and the very mild mechanical exfoliation. Because we don't use face scrubs anymore. We blend better. I am doing my nose. I have a big nose, so I know there's little hairs on there and dead skin. I don't go over the nose with a straight blade because I will cut myself. And I don't want to do too many passes because once the hair is gone, it's gone. You don't want to do too many passes and then risk nicking the skin. Okay, so as promised, I'm going to use the straight blade. This is what it looks like. I use a 10R blade. And this is clean. I did wipe this down with some alcohol. This is a favorite treatment amongst my clients. It gets a very nice close. Let me see if I can even do this on myself. Okay. Because you gotta do this at an angle. Please don't do this at home if you're not trained. A little bit better when it comes to getting that skin. You can see the skin and hair. Oh yeah, see, this one's a little bit better and it is sharper. You can really see all the dead skin on this blade right here. Ooh, yeah.
you have very textured skin, yeast caution. It will snag slightly, so you gotta be extra careful. Now you can already see how much brighter my skin is just from the dermaplaning and I even went over again areas I already did with the one with the guard and it took off even more dead skin. So you can see there is a difference between professional dermaplaning and the regular one. Now I'm surprised I didn't nick myself but thank goodness I only stuck it to the half of the face. I'm not too concerned about... I'm not too concerned about getting all of the hair. I just want, you know, a nice, relatively smooth surface so I can do my nano and get that penetration of vitamin C into my skin, which will help with some discoloration, help rebuild the skin. The skin scrub vitamin C also has peptides and CoQ10, which is very beneficial to the skin. Now that we are done dermaplaning, I'm gonna go in with one more spray. This just to make sure my skin is really nice and clean and I don't feel anything tingling. But wow, look at all that, it's super nice. Even my forehead looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh. I'm gonna start with the forehead. Let me make sure it's not tingling. And I'm gonna go little by little. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure, and we wanna make sure we put quite a bit of serum to give this a nice glide. You don't want it to be dry. Go ahead and turn my device on. Okay, so I have about on level three, and I'm gonna go ahead and work in sections. And Nano is very, very safe. I'm not too worried about it, um, you know, going in any kind of direction. I do like to keep it relatively organized. So I like to kind of go, just like my microneedling video, same kind of patterns to make sure I get that whole area. Oh, I can't talk today. Make sure I get that whole area covered with the Nano. And Nano is not really needles, it's more like little channels. And it's like little divots that are kind of pressing into your skin rapidly, thousands and thousands of times really helping that extra penetration of skin. Cause I can tell you, like, I don't feel like sometimes stuff doesn't get it doesn't penetrate the skin only because we have so much hair there. We have dead skin. We kind of have dull skin. We don't exfoliate properly. Get that fine line there. Now, if you see a fine line, you can do a couple of passes. Now, I'm not pressing too hard. I'm being very gentle. Ooh, my forehead's looking very nice. I'm gonna leave that serum on there. But so far looks very glowy. Let's continue. And what's nice about this serum is that it's in an airlocked container, which does help a lot from oxidizing. And then if you throw it in the fridge as well, even better. I'm gonna get this guy here. And you can see I'm perfectly perpendicular to my skin. I'm not angled, I'm just perfectly straight. Have this tip straight on the skin. Now there's no right or wrong. Like if you wanna do sections like this, you can. If you wanna do circles, you can. Woo, I do teal. I did nick myself, see I told you. It's really hard to do. Ooh right there too so I'm actually glad that happened because now I'm going to show you exactly what to do I don't remember doing that with the, the other one I think that was with the guard oh but that's okay we're going to keep going 
I'm not too concerned about it. I did warn you in, in advance. But what I will do really quickly is take my little cotton pad. And that is why we have some hydrochloric. Helps with minor wounds. And just go ahead and wipe it away. And it just disinfects it at the same time. And it does not hurt. But I will not be going over those areas. So I'm gonna skip this area here and this one here. And we'll continue. And I'm gonna go under the eye, make sure there's serum there. And I will do an after, see if there's any significant changes in the morning. This is definitely something you have to do more than just one time, but one time will get you glowy skin and smoother skin, okay, we're good. Okay, let's skip, go around that. I'm not going anywhere near it. I told you I can get easily, like I don't like doing it to myself, but you know, I had to show everybody. I had to show off Beauty's pain. Well, I can't see where, you'll see I'm not, I'm not touching it, I'm going around it. Nothing is tingling, surprisingly with the side that I did the straight, I mean the, with the side I did the disposable razor. Yeah, I know. This can be relatively quick, it doesn't have to take all day. Okay, so you can see I've done my forehead and then this half, and it looks pretty good, nice and glowy. So I'm gonna speed up the other side of the face and um, nurture these two little boo-boos here. And it does happen. Unfortunately, I told you guys, I will probably nick myself. So let's go ahead and do this side of the face. So for those of you at home, use the one with the guard, because it is hard. To do it with the straight blade that's why professionals do it that's why I, I don't even do it to myself i'll get someone i know to do it for me who's also an esthetician because i can't see i'm also doing this on the phone i'm not doing this in the mirror so it is harder oh my god look how my chin came out oh so pretty mm. Now, if you have deep scars like me, I do have more scars on this side of my face versus the other side. This side, I'm gonna do probably a few passes. This side, I can do more passes so that I wanna get that slight inflammatory response to the skin. This does help the skin rebuild collagen. Wow, the iPhone is just not forgiving on your skin. It shows every texture. I don't think it looks like this like in, in person, like in real life. It just likes to show the shadow. There's a lot, there's like a shadow here. See, because when I do that. Oh, and then this is hyperpigmentation from health reasons. So I don't expect that to fade until I pretty much glow up from the inside. You know what I mean? That's usually a sign of insulin resistance, which I do have. And it is actually getting a lot better because I have been watching my diet for the past few weeks I did do a series on it make sure you go watch it it's in my shorts and how important it is to really take care of your skin but I've never had acne on that spot it's so weird like nothing happens in that spot and there's like no pores visible I wish all of my skin was like that okay so this is what it looks like right after it's pretty glowy and you can see there is a tint to the vitamin C which I like Again, I am a woman of color, so I do like stuff like this. Pretty much all of your lighteners, even retinol, will be like this color. Let me 
do my nose. Now, some things that might happen after, you might get a slight bit of inflammation, you might get um, a little redness if you're very prone to being red. You also might peel a little bit. Sometimes you can get a little tiny peel from using vitamin C in combination with the natto. So it just really depends. You can see I'm getting a little red. But once I get that kind of pink color, I just stop. Okay, so I have a lot of vitamin C on my face. But it looks really glowy, it looks good. Like my forehead, I even feel like the texture is changed, especially like right in here, it really changed. This is a scar, so that's not going anywhere. But yeah, the more, the nano needling you can do pretty much weekly, dermal cleaning as well. So if you like that really smooth look, a lot of people like it so that they can do their makeup. Now this is an optional step and you won't have access to this, only a professional esthetician will, but there are other ones out there. You can even do just pure aloe. So if you do experience some irritation or you feel kind of like, you know, just a little irritated, maybe a little burny, I don't feel any of those things right now, again, but my skin is pretty used to it. So I'm gonna use a little bit of aloe mask. And I'm just gonna put that right over that vitamin C. This also has kind of an antiseptic property to it. This is a professional one. And I'm just gonna coat my whole face. Lock in, pretty much. Lock this in. Whoops. Now, if anything burns or or you can't stand a tingle or burn, you can just wash it off with water, okay? You, the vitamin C would have been just fine, but I like to be a little extra. I like to have like some type of soothing mask. This one is making me tingle slightly. It's around my uh, cheek area and right there, my lip. And it's starting to calm down now. If it's not coming down, again. Now I know I'm gonna get a comment about using oil during the dermaplaning process, and the answer is no, I don't like to do that. I like to try to get um, see the dead skin I'm taking off. I also, I can be acne prone, so I don't wanna um, try and emulsify any sebum or bacteria in my skin and spread it around. I just don't wanna do that. So I'm always making sure I use my spray in between and making sure that you, my hands are clean, everything is clean. So I'm gonna let this sit on my skin for probably 10 minutes and then just rinse off. I do have to go to work after this, so I will be putting on some sunscreen. I'm gonna insert a clip here of the sunscreen that I like to use. Look at how look at how my skin looks. I know I have the mask on, but look at it. It looks a lot more even. So here is the next day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content every Monday and Thursday. See you guys soon, bye.